<laughs> yeah, Dora, you'll be able to watch the race back without any of the lag happening. So that's a good sign. That's one good thing. Right, we're going to grid now, though. As I could be have to move. Oh, uh, to grab my phone. With the five lights, as I can't see that bit at the moment, so we have to leave that for this time. All right. You'll be able to see it straight off the bat whilst I retire, so it's fine. You can take control. I don't know. Oh God. Also, thanks, Joe. Hi, them. I should right, be eating. Mm. Right, oh God, up. they've already gone. I was eating. Go on. All right, and, and away we go. And Charlie is on the uh, starting coming to the first corner. We've got Ferrari coming in. Hopefully, everybody's got around the first corner. Oh, and it's a McLaren. It's gone very wide. Oh, he's gone off as well. Don't know who that is in the Mercedes. So there's been a collision already at the start. The Charlie White is still the lead, got Palmer in second, so what happens to Harry D there? Absolute chaos, we've got about two cars right at the back already. Got Blue Gunner in third, and who, what has happened to Harry D? That pig was right at the back of uh, Blue Gunner in the Ferrari. And, oh, and Blue Gunner's gone really wide, and he's going to lose two places, so uh, great thing up to four. Fourth into your third and fourth now. The Blue Gunner's going all the way down to seventh position. Not a good start here, but what happens now he's if I try and find him, all his cars shuffling about. So I leave Roy in 8th place, and the Williams beats him down in 9th, and I want to know who is up the back. Oh, right, Leroy has definitely had a better corner than Irish Brew got it there. Who's in the wall? That is a Force India rejoining from the track. It's Grave Digger, he's yeah, just had a they, spin there. Yeah, they need the 12 and 13. He's gone off again, that means McLaren's going to pass him. Who's the Red Bull though? This is a bit of mayhem and the Red Bull now is going to pass Grave Digger as well. You can just hang on the inside. No, nicely done by the Red Bull to go around the outside. Don't know who the Red Bull was. Well, there's uh, T. Palmer, he's in second place, he was the Red Bull. Ladies, the 12th and 13th, Harry T. Stowe in the primes as well. And he must have been the one that got spun up after the four in the background. And now Cordish is right at the back of the McLaren now of Ewan. And Ewan's starting on the prime, so Cordish should have to We've got Apex Beast now trying to pass the McLaren around the outside turn three. Is it possible? It is possible. Can you do it though? Epic Beast around the outside, now the inside. The McLaren's going to stick his ground a little bit wide because of contact, but he's going to keep it. Uh oh, and Cordis has got down. Yeah, he's got down. He's got down the fourth. He's got past you in. Before he get past this, the Prime's only about at least a second slower than the option. So now, is he going to be able to catch a Charlie White and just pull it away? After all these few incidents, and there's a great battle between. And you've lagged out. Oh, that's that's right, it's I'm on board. <laughs> <laughs> it is not our night for connection and stuff, is it? Tuesdays are not good days for connection. Well, then, I leave Roy up the inside of the McLaren. Is he going to get it done? No, better traction than McLaren because he's on the options and he is. Nicely done by Eileen Roddy got up to sixth place past Ewan. The four car battle in the background though. Try and see what's going on. Force of India versus a Toro Rosso, I can tell you that for sure. It's close to battles up front as well. See Palm on the back of a Force India. I'm not sure who the Force India is. It's Fat Penguin, Fat Penguin doing pretty well here in second place, C Palmer though. In third behind him. You've got a lot of cars coming down to this corner. Try and keep the eye on that corner so it goes on. We go back to front. Oh. Alright, last Roger Tags. I might Roger Tag must have got caught up in all of that. You're backed now, but you can't really talk until you yet. So both Mercedes at the back there, but were the ones that must have had the crash on turn one. Oh, I'm just going off actually. Uh, 
Let's just get back into it now, hopefully. I'll stay on a bit longer. Yes, Joe, that is a great name, Pat Freeman. Well, the Apex Beast now back on the McLaren. It's Ewan this time, he's going up the inside. He thinks better of it, actually. He's now going to try and get better traction through, through here. Side by side, can work. A little bit of contact with Ewan, going to keep on the road just about. Apex Beast backs off so Ewan can keep the place. He's now got the Force India all over the back of him. Bams is even happy that Penguin's doing well in second. I don't know if he's still got it. It's DRS happening, Apex Beast now up the inside of the McLaren, he's going to get through before the first corner. Very nice, so he's not going to get yeah. hit or nothing. Yeah, fine. Now I'm back, I've just realised You're back. already three people have got ten second penalties. Great start to this race. Still yeah, hoping the uh, servers improve, Cordish, but you never know. Cordish has got a penalty. Oh, uh, great return. Beast has got a penalty and Speed Team has got a penalty already, so... Might have been due to the incidents in the first corner, because the ladies did a big time, but we'll have to find out later on. But hopefully, I can stay on a bit longer now and get back down to business. The connection's staying around about the stream, staying around about the same. Here comes Grave Digger now, F5000 champion from last year, not the inside of you, and he's definitely going to get it down. Ewan's left him enough room, and the bad attraction on the options has allowed him to go through. That Toros is going to try and take an opportunity as well. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it down here. Jay Pierce is on the primes as well. Thinks about it but backs out. Can't move away out of Jay Pierce to just wait as there's a mess up by Ewan. Here comes Jay Pierce now up the inside surely. Another person to try it down here. It's a good place to overtake. A little bit later on the brakes. And then just nail the apex and Ewan has nowhere really to go. Jay Pierce now through as well. Ewan's just falling down the order here on those prime tyres. Jay Pierce oh, after a quality. Still very interesting team battle here now. Both the Williamses of Cordish and Roy now, fifth and sixth, and Leroy's right at the back. He's got DRS down the start and finish he's line. Turned he's turned it off. The next straight. Oh, he's oh, cut the corner. He's cut the first quarter big time. Now, I don't know if you'll be allowed to take his teammate if he goes for it, because that's the advantage, but he's going to look, but no, he's done the right thing there, because that would have been a legal overtake, in my opinion. But they're all, well, the first two are starting to spread out a little bit, but he looks set up near the back of the uh, pack as well. He's still got the Mercedes of Harry and Reuters right at the back. So now they've started to spread out a little bit, um, we should talk about strategy really. So, um, what kind of best strategy? strategy? Mm. Do you think of two or three? Um, depends on your speed, because three stops can work, but twos can work as well. Uh, it's, uh, two, I could do a two. You're going to see a very wide range of them, because it's a 0% chance of rain, so people can go option, option, prime, option, or option, prime, option, or prime, option, option, you know, they can throw loads into it, so it's uh, very, very difficult. Yeah, um... We've already noticed that some people are starting the option to start on the prime. Irish Blue gun now, the inside of the Red Bull. Into third place, he goes nice and easy. He's past C Palmer, 11th. Then the veterans have a great start. He's already. See, Palmer seems to be losing quite a few places because he was battling yeah. the pack penguins a second. Now he seems to be drifting away a little bit from the pack. This is why he's going off a little bit. Yeah. Or it's not very consistent at the moment, but see if Virus Blue Gunner now can get off the Fat Penguin. I don't know how many times I've got to say this, but it's not my problem that the uh, Twitch things are crap. Quick Twitch servers are crap, I can't do anything about the frame rate. It was all fine when I did testing last week, but now this week, because we're on a Tuesday, I was on a Wednesday last time I did it, so hopefully tomorrow it'll be fine, but today, on Tuesday, once again, just like last season, stream's crap. What do I recommend starting? I was going to go Primes, but best for you to go Options Joe, because Primes, as you're seeing, is losing a lot of time in this first stint. It's going to stay with that battle, but I think behind, down here, is a freeway, just about, of all the Prime Runners that are actually going on back here. Option for Speed Demon, he was involved in a little bit of an incident at the start. And again, Ewan goes a bit wide, he's got a bit of tap from his teammate, but I think he's letting his teammate through. 
So uh, a bit of team strategy, help each other out there, go through, don't want to waste each other's time. Mercedes at the back after their contact, I believe. Charlie Whiting's doing well here, he wasn't going to be in the F5000 division, he's winning the F4, so obviously a good move to put him back up. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that, so I'll be in F5 uh, tomorrow, so that's one threat out of the way. And he's definitely showing his pace around here, so definitely a great decision. You have got, you've got a Red Bull, Williams, Williams, Red Bull, so that's a nice little sandwich going on here. Yeah, well, it's, look at oh, this one very wide in that corner, and Cordy's going to have the advantage down straight here. He's really been losing the advantage, and um, he's going to look no, and wait a minute, is that Black Penguin who's slowed up as well? Because Irish Blue is right at the back of him now. So Palmer and Fat Penguin have really been setting some slow times at the moment, and you know, we could have a Ferrari 1 2 at the end of this lap. So. That is close. I think Apex Beast is going to try and pass I Leroy into the next corner. They're side by side. Apex Beast up the inside. He hits the Apex nicely. Leroy not giving him too much room. Put him on the uh, curb. Doesn't affect Apex Beast. He's got through before the DRS zone, I think. I'm not sure exactly where it's detected. He's just got through. These guys are very, very close. Apex Beast has been no mercy. I'll check that in two seconds time if I remember. A bit of lag happening there for me. Yeah, you can see how that one's on the stream as well. Right at the back of Pat Penguin now. That's DRS on the start and finish line. Now he's got the DRS again. Players, he's a little bit too far behind. It's going to be... No, XRL Cornish, Cornish is, is going to throw up the inside of the Red Bull. Thinks better of it. Now we've got a Red Bull Williams. Red Bull Williams. Definitely a good battle going on here. We've got, well, we've got Red Bull, Williams, Ferrari all up there. Just the Mercedes, sadly, right at the back, really, due to the first corner. They would have been definitely a good mix of the back there. Very, very, very good. Oh, I think Avex P's managed to hit back at Cornish because he's getting held up by his teammate. Is, 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 is one of them trying to hold the other one up? Oh, here go. Oh, Axel Rock 1 running outside on the left, right. Can he actually do that? You can, but he's backed out of it, and the Red Bull Beast is going to go round. Yeah, I'm going to work big side for Cornish, I say. Crikey, they're rubbing, nearly rubbing each other's rear ends. And then the Williams behind him as well. Apex Beast now at the inside of Cornish, he's going to get it done. Cornish has gone off, and his teammates even pass him as well. Cornish loses two places in the space of one lap. I believe he taps the back of Apex Beast, a little bit more contact. Wait until the DRS, and you probably will pass him. The Force India now is joining in as well. If, well, if, if oh my fun. god, the Irish Blue Gunner now, for second round the outside, on turn one he's going to get it, he's done it, Irish Blue Gunner up to second place, it's a pattern, it's an awesome pattern with a Ferrari Ferrari, Force India, Williams, Williams, Red Bull, Red, no, Red Bull, Red Bull, Williams, Williams, and then a Force India after it all, look at that, there's an awesome pattern going on here, that's a cool pattern. Crikey, he is close. I Leroy is just all over the back of Apex Beast. I'm surprised he didn't get him with the DRS. Maybe there was something that I missed there. Of course, if you are staying, thank you, but it will be race. Hopefully, it will, well, will be uploaded afterwards on YouTube, and the quality will be better because there'll be a zero lag. So, yeah, sorry about that. The servers are very good. Oh. Coming into the quick left, right, surely he can't oh. go around the outside oh, here. Oh, no. Oh, his teammate's going to oh. do it, though. Oh, 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 oh that's well. interesting. That's very interesting. It's all getting a bit punchy in there. Well, he should have backed up, to be honest. He was not going to get him on the outside there. He's had the inside line. He's always going to cover it. And now he's lost time to um, see Palmer. And he's lost the place to his teammate through his corner, so... No, very close. He's going to. Charlie White is just happily away in the lead. Not that far. No, not that far ahead. No, he's not too far ahead. I think Irish Blue Gunner going for it now. Eighth season. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. all of the uh, stream problems, but you of course you can watch it after the race full version of it with no lag. 
Hopefully good quality. Should be. This is just what happens. Oh. This is allowed. The Force India of Grave Digger to be right on the back of them all. They're all spelling out a little bit more again. Kind of I thought he went past him. Oh, is that a problem for one of the Red Bulls? Or is he just... I don't know, I see Palmer's been caught a little bit more on by the Williams there. And we've lost you again, Craig. You have got again. I was going to check that. Where's the controls or something? Who's in the lead? Uh, it is Charlie Whiting, number four. I quickly go to him to see you so you can see the onboard. Sorry about that. I did uh, remember after a lap in a bit to check that message. Here it is, the race leader at the moment. Charlie Whiting. Nice slider on that last corner. You can see by the front end. There he was having a lovely slide as he goes on to lap 11. With his teammate in second, Irish Blue Gunner following him in third is Fat Penguin, everyone loves Fat Penguin in the Force India. And in fourth place this week's Beast is really closing them all in. Another Red Bull, we'll see Palmer then, here we go, the Williams Williams, side by side. Leroy up the inside of Cornish, not managed to get it done, look at that Jay Pierce, I think that is now on the back of the Force India, which is all over the back of one of the Williams. Here we go, up the inside goes the Williams, Force India trying to follow him, it's I Leroy trying to pass that to Cornish. Can the Force India or Grave Digger try and find a way through? Now we're going to have a nice little battle once again. The Williams getting involved in a four way battle. Oh, as the Force India goes a bit wide there, so does I Leroy. Joe quoting me with the call pattern. It will be interesting when the pit stops come around. Uh, do you need an invite or can you just uh, do this show? Oh, the Force Indians got off into the gravel. It's yeah, a yeah, grave yeah. digger just, I've, I've just randomly. Been, been just to, uh, I, uh, I don't know what happened to um, XRL Grave Digger just randomly like missed the breaking or something and he's messed up. And now the Red Bull's messed up. Big side for him. He's going to get passed by XRL Cornish and I Leroy as well. Or well, maybe not I Leroy. It's going to be interesting. Up to the inside he goes. He should probably get him. See Palmer on the grass there. Oh, he's through. He's going to. Ooh, side by side there. Oh, ooh, the Taurus is going to get them both. No contact, and he's in the wall. This is getting all a bit onky donkey. Luckily, no one's got any damage, it looks like, so it's all fine. But C. Palmer now, who's in two places to the Williams. Don't know what's happened to him. He was in third at one point in this race. I'm really sorry about the yeah, action, but of course, I'll, I'll try and get this uploaded like within an hour after the race as well, just saying. Because this is just terrible, it's not, not out of my control with the uh, Twitch servers completely. It's a really annoying thing. Playing up. It's still playing up a little bit, yeah, well it's playing up loads because it's... Normally, two, literally, looking at the figures, normally the stream is two times better than this, in the uh, numbers. So, um really problems with the servers and not helping because it was it, literally last time I did the, the F4 I did a test last week I think on Wednesday and the, the figure that I was having there was double what it is now and ah, yeah nothing I can do though hopefully it's probably be sorted out Hopefully it'll be sorted out by tomorrow, but there is actually, I did get a message through by Twitch yeah, earlier today that before tomorrow at like something at p.m., like 4 p.m. or something, or 4 a.m. I think it was, uh, there is uh, maintenance going for Twitch, so, no oh, sorry, expert, I think it was expert, or something like that, so the streams will be better, apparently, so um, it's, a, it's a thing to fix this problem that we're having right now, basically. I don't know, I don't think any other divisions had it. I don't it's think. Cool that it's happening uh, now. Yes, very. It's annoying. Um, and no, originals. No, it's not the server. The server. <laughs> it is the server. It's not me. I don't point fingers at me. Don't do that. Jay Pierce will run back on the red board. See Palmer now. If it was me, I probably would have lagged out of this race. What do I think about that one? 
See Palmer is dropping down the field. See, this is where the primes are actually really good. So he needs, Jay Pierce needs to get past C. Palmer. It really does. See what he can do. Can he got the inside to the left, right of him? He's gonna backs out of it. Still, still the Williams were running quite close together. The, uh, like we said before, the pitting stage will be interesting between these two. Very evenly matched. What lap are we on to anyway? Just lap 13 is Apex Beast now, the first pit stopper of the race. Anyone going to follow him in? Doesn't look like it. In he goes. And I'm guessing that's you back in. Yeah, back in and hopefully stay in. Right, no one's actually... Right, quick rundown then for you being back, Mr. Uh, Samster as well. Charlie Wang still leading. Quite a few penalties coming up. Yep. Irish Blue Gunner in second. Fat Penguin in third. Axel Cornish in fourth. Eileen Roy in fifth. Sixth. C. Palmer. JPS in seventh. Ewan in eighth. Apex Beast after pitting in ninth. That must have mean Grave Digger must have pitted as well in eleventh. And then... Speed Demon and Harry. Harry and Roger Tag having problem turn one. No one out of this race as of yet. Good thing. That's very good. There is your lovely rundown. Um, let's see. This should be close. These two are close. There's a close battle behind them because I don't think these two are going to do anything stupid as his teammates. Here we go. It's C Palmer again versus J Pierce. Still trying to find a way through. Uh, oh yeah, you've got to do the uh, track extender and corner cutting duties at some point in this, so have fun with that one. Well... Oh, okay. Wow, that lasted all but a two Might corners. Oh, tempo mode them on and off quickly. Alright, do what you have to do. Alright then, the Williams now. I Lee Roy versus XRO Cornish, here we go then. Eileen Roy with the DRS is probably going to get alongside and through before turn one. He's just ahead now. Is X going to corner? He's going to challenge him a little bit. A little bit of contact. Nice slide, but a save by Eileen Roy. He's going to get more DRS down here to put away as he goes up into fourth place. These two. No team orders, obviously, here. Hi again, Mr. Dizzy. Sorry, the quality is. Don't think it's quite any better. Not according to this. This is all I'm doing as well. Yeah, listen to the drivers. Ah, let's go listening to the drivers, they're going to be quite boring. Um, that is big. Nope, I've done that wrong. Right, sorry, that's only happened because XRL Corners has been passed by. Uh, yep, yep, that was before. That is only because Mr. Uh, Craig Shadow went and turned his Xbox off and turned it back on, and Jay Pierce. Somebody has gone onto the prime tyres, according to the team radio I tried listening to then. Um, has got past this guy's really wide. I missed the Ewan. No! He hasn't got past Ewan, Ewan's closed on him. Do -do 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 -do. Thinking, thinking, who was he alongside? Because whoever he was alongside has pitted. I hope it's pissed there. Hello to you as well, then 44 friends. Thank you! Those 44 friends are online. Um, C. Palmer, there you go, he went on to the primes, that's who he was racing with. Thank you, Team Radio, for that. Speed Demon down in 11th, Roger Tank will be in 12th. No, that's Harry, where's Roger then? 13th, right, we still have He's been lapped, actually, by uh, Charlie Whiting. When is this coming on the field for someone next year, mate? Um, so that's interesting. He's not having the best of races, Mr. Roger Tank. Uh, I'm guessing he will not be getting a cookie at the end of this race. By the way, originals, if you want to say that's all his own accounts, you might want to put an S on the end account. Just saying. Um, Fat Penguin's still in third place with that nice white helmet. I'm just going to say his name again for everybody. Fat Penguin, in capitals. Should have been 69, but it wouldn't have 96. Um, Eileen Roy then, still in fourth place, with uh, the Williams teammate of XRO. Four is behind. <laughs> oh, that's so true. Jay Pierce now with Ewan all over the back of him. I'm not sure when Ewan pitted. He must have pitted. Maybe not. I don't know. He may not have pitted. 
Yeah, he's got grass on his tires, so I actually can't tell. I'll check the race director in a minute when my co commentator comes back again. Once again, sorry about the quality of the stream. Can't do anything about it because of the Twitch servers. Of course, you can watch on the YouTube channel of XI Racing League the full race afterwards. Within an hour, I think it will be. Hopefully, I'll get my co commentator back as well because my voice will go at some point. I've got to do tier 6 tomorrow as well. Someone is in the pit lane, but I will catch that in a minute as. Yeah, I think it is much as well, Joe. Um, you are now with the DRS on Jay Pierce. He's not going to get him, is he? No, he thinks about it. Oh, he's really... Oh, a big slide for uh, Jay Pierce there. One misses the apex, one hits the apex, but nearly loses it. So that's... That Ewan's not going to get past him here then. Because of that. Oh, big slide again by Jay Pierce. I don't know if that's his tactic to get it in the corner. But his tyres are dead, so we're going to see him probably spin in a minute. So we'll stay on board with this one. Just in case he does spin it. I'm wondering who's behind him. That must be a sort of grave digger. Oh, I'm really going to lose my voice in a minute, which is not good. Grab a drink. Oh, you were nearly hitting the back of Jay Pierce. Wait, Senna hasn't come back online yet. That's the problem. That is not good today. Every connection is going bad. The only thing is, all the drivers are staying in. That's the main thing. Dogs barking outside. And they won't stop for another 10 minutes. He's not actually uh, got JPS here, so we'll quickly jump off. I think got interesting. It's Apex Beast behind him there. He's not going to a grave digger. Maybe he's the car behind that dog. Keep it up. Anyone got a gun? Right, um... Here we go then. You are now on the back of the... Now he's maybe able to get him in turn one. Yes, he's gone very slow on the Apex, so it's going to affect Jay Pierce. And look at that, where the Apex Beast comes from. There he is. Free wide. And Apex Beast is going to get the both of them down here. Has he even got DRS? No, he actually hasn't. This isn't going to end well. Crikey, he's done it. He's done it. Nicely done by Apex Beast. Passing Jay Pierce and Ewan in the space of a straight. <laughs> and Ewan still didn't manage to get Jay Pierce. There's B turning him in. It's not that difficult. Jay Pierce is actually uh, sticking with uh, Apex B, sir. Nicely done by Apex B to round. To go three wide and then round the outside and turn three. He is on the pressure options, but he needed to do that and he's done it very well. Hmm, I'm trying to think. If I've been, instead of using X split to stream it, if I have to. Hmm. Right, actually, two seconds. I'm going to try a different strategy with this one because I know how Bobbit streamed it the other day and I might just do what Bobbit did. So. 